Hey, what is up, everybody? My name is Rahul, and welcome to yet another Try Hack Me video where we'll where we'll be learning about a vulnerability called Ponkit. So it has been given a CVE number of twenty twenty one four zero three four, and it is and at this point of time, it should be quite common for us to you know have names assigned to all these vulnerabilities. The first time that that I heard a name was for the pseudo vulnerability that that rolled out the last year. So here. We'll be learning about Ponkit, and it is a local privilege escalation vulnerability that is super super easy to exploit. And the thing is, because of its presence in most of the Linux distributions, it is quite common for you to you know locally escalate your privileges. So with that, let's see. So we'll be learning a bit about the um, background first before we exploit it because exploitation is really really simple. So this vulnerability is because of Polkit that is present in most of the Linux distributions, and explicitly, why is this Polkit vulnerable? It was vulnerable because of the PK exec utility. Now, what this is and what is Polkit, we'll be learning here. So Polkit, as as I just told you, it is a part of the Linux authorization system, so you'll find it in most of the Linux distributions. So what will happen is, if you try to perform an action that requires higher level privileges. Polkit is you should determine whether you have the right amount of permissions. Are you the root user or the has the root user assigned you those privileges through which you can execute those commands that you're trying to execute? So this is what Polkit does, and this is just an overview of it. So for example, let's try to use as per the room. Let's just try to use pk exec. Pk exec user add test. As you can see, it is asking me for the password. So this is what PK uh, Polkit does because I do not have specific privileges. So I'll have to log in as root before adding a new user. So this is what Polkit does. But how is this vulnerable in the first place? So we'll be learning here. So let's just read the short version. Is the versions of PK exec released prior to the patch don't handle command line arguments safely. Now why is this? This is because of a for loop. and let's understand it for a bit so what will happen is when you try to run commands so for example if you if i see here uh, pk exec pk ex ec bash now this part can be referenced using zero so for example if i type in pk exec bash the dollar zero is used to assign this and the dollar one will be used for this so this is the first argument which is bash And pk exec will be the zeroth argument, and this is normally the case with every Linux uh, with with any command line utility tool that you use. So how is this vulnerable? This becomes vulnerable, and this is an example of buffer overflow. So what happens is when you try to give arguments to pk exec, the for line uh, the for loop will work. But what is the case when you don't supply it any credentials so if you don't give in, give it any credentials what will happen is n remains 1 and because there are no arguments given this because there are no arguments given this for loop doesn't run so what happens is the value of n remains 1 and this becomes a problem later when pk exec attempts to write to the value of arguments at index n now you know that the value of n will always remain 1 there are no arguments given so what it will do is instead of writing here or instead of writing in the buffer that should be allotted to pk exec it will write elsewhere so this is a typical case of buffer overflow and what it instead does is it writes to the list of environment variables now you know that environment variables should be used with caution and this is particularly what it exploits so here we have been provided with an exploit So if I were to just cd into the pawn kit, you can find most of this, most of the exploits for this vulnerability online. So, but let's see if you can exploit this vulnerability remotely. So you cannot. You'll have to log in as a user. So you cannot just log in. You cannot just exploit this vulnerability without being authenticated as any user. So you cannot exploit this vulnerability remotely. So, and here we just learned that the pawn kit in which Polkit utility does the Polkit vulnerability reside? We just learned that it re uh, re resides in the pk exec utility. 
now let's just try to exploit it so all we have to do is let's just remove the exploit because i just used it so we'll have to use gcc C compiler and let's use cve which is the exploit tag o to redirect the output into exploit now if i were to type in ls you'll see that i have an exploit let's just try to run it and as you can see right away i get the root user so this vulnerability is super duper easy to exploit so cat flag dot text sorry cat flag dot text and as you can see we have exploited so what are the ways to remediate it so what you can try to do is you just have to update your system how do we do that you can do that by sudo apt get update and sudo apt upgrade so let me first tell you the room is finished but let me tell you what this means because i don't think that most of us don't know what it means so what this command does is sudo apt update does is sudo apt update updates the repository the local repository of the linux system so it will update the local repository and when you type in sudo apt upgrade it will look into the repository what needs to be updated and then updated all right so this is what it means so thank you guys this is it for the video